Okay, so um, today we're going to start by talking about the FOLD application that can be found on the NIRX website. So it stands for FNIRS Optodes Location Decider. And so we're in the process of setting up our FNIRS experiment, and this is the stage where we're trying to decide what cap configuration we're going to build. Um, so FOLD is the very first step in this process. So in the entire process, we're going to be using two applications. We have FOLD, and then the next application that we'll use after we use FOLD will be the near site montage software. So what FOLD does, it allows us to decide how we're going to arrange our optode so we're covering the brain regions of interest. So FOLD, the application, um, has five parcellations that splits up the anatomical regions of the brain in different ways. So depending on the brain regions of interest, the anatomical locations of interest for your study, you will use, um, you can go through these various atlases and decide what regions you want to cover. So for the example I'm going to show today, I'm going to use Brodman's area because I'm interested in some of those dorsolateral and frontal polar areas of the prefrontal cortex. Um, so as you can see, when you click on one of the atlases, there's a little box here and it shows the anatomical landmarks. And so I'm going to choose the landmarks that I am interested for my study. So I am interested in, like I said, the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. So I'm going to choose um, the anatomical landmark number nine. And so I'm going to hold down the control key on my computer and click it. So then I can choose another um, location without it deselecting the location I've already selected. So as you can see, um, with my first click of the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, it populated some um, optodes, so some sources and detectors, to give you an idea what um, optode arrangement would be needed to cover the area of interest. So I'm going to click all of my regions of interest first, and then we'll talk about um, the specificity and how you can change the arrangement based on the number of uh, sources and detectors that you have on your FNIRS fibers. So I'm going to choose the frontal polar area and then I'm going to go down to area 46 on the Brodmans area because I am interested in this dorsolateral free frontal cortex. Okay. So right now it populated, we have the three regions of interest that I'm interested in populated. So again, Fold is telling me that these sources and detectors are covering those three anatomical landmarks. Now, as you can see, my uh, FNIRS machine only has an eight by eight um, configuration, meaning I only have eight sources and eight detectors, but we have more than eight sources and eight detectors here. So we need to adjust the specificity higher. So we lose some of these um, channels or these sources detectors, but we're still accurately covering the anatomical region of interest. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust my specificity. Okay, to, that's too little. I think this is a perfect amount. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight sources. So that's the perfect amount of sources that we need. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight detectors. So that's exactly um, the configuration that we need. So I want to save this because I'm going to use this as a map to then plot my configuration on the near site montage software. So I need to now save my configuration on fold and I'm going to export it as a text file because in order to um, upload this to the near site montage, it needs to be saved as a text file. You could also save it as an Excel and it will give you the plot points and you can manually put it in, but this will allow me to just upload it to near site and it'll populate it automatically. Okay, um, and to download the FNIRS Opto Location Decider or Fold, you can find this on the Near X website, which we will link on our website. Um, to preface, the standalone application cannot be downloaded on a Mac. It needs to be downloaded through MATLAB, but any PC can open up this um, application. There's also on the GitHub, when you download it, there's some articles about Fold and the Atlas parcellations if you want to read into um, 
how they're parsed out and what anatomical locations are being covered within each atlas. And that is how you use Fold. So the next step, um, the next video will be about how to use Nearsight and make the montage that you'll use for your study.